guest, welcome back. Well, our next guest has a big wardrobe and an even bigger <laughs> voice. Dami In won X Factor in 2013. And since, the South Korean born has gone from strength to strength. Earning number one positions on the ARIA charts. And this year represented us in a little talent contest called Eurovision. Where she achieved Australia's highest ever score, placing second overall. And with a new single and a massive tour on the horizon, it seems there's no limit to how high this star will rise. Please welcome Dummy Im. You know, when, whenever I hear your songs, I really want to go, oh, like yeah. that. That's <laughs> so good. Yeah. That, that's my Corey. That's... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we could all learn that, couldn't we, Pete? Yeah, that's start the voice up. Is that your warm-up routine, just to kick-start yourself, is it? Yeah, it, it's just, you know, you want drama and it, you, you just punch yeah. your heart. That's, that's, that's and then you go into the sprinkle and a bit of that. <laughs> <laughs> No, Pete, no. no. Okay, no. okay. Each to their own. Dami, you've kind of rebooted your, your sound for this latest single. It's called Fighting for Love. Uh, can your music get any more catchy? Because this one is pretty catchy. Yes, um, I don't think my music can get any more catchy, <laughs> but this one is very catchy and um, it's a big dance song. I just wanted to change it up from my last one, you know, Sound of Silence. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, something different. Everyone can dance to it and yeah, so I, 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 like, I like my new song. It's a great <laughs> song, Dami, and, and you must be stoked that Australia is back at Eurovision next year. Mm -hmm. Thanks to you, it's got to be said. I mean, you know, you finished second. What an amazing <laughs> effort. <laughs> We had we had the Veronicas on the show last night, and they, we put it to them. I think they're chomping at the bit to represent uh, Australia. Chomping at the bit could be a great Eurovision song title, by the way. <laughs> Get that in mind. Do you think the Veronicas could represent us? I think they would. They would do an excellent job, you know. And you know, the two of them would. It would look really good as well on stage. Um, I, I think they could be great. Do you have anyone else in mind that you want? Um, I, personally, I thought because it was Guy Sebastian last year, me yeah. this year, and I thought it would make sense to send another bloke this next yeah. year. Um, well, we've been trying to campaign for Daryl Braithwaite to do horses. Yeah. We thought that would be yeah. like... Oh, you know, Real and good. people were saying Shannon Noll. No, um, see. Yeah, he, but see, Dami, he can't do horses, can he? Because he didn't originally write that song. That's a he? cover. Oh. No, there was a guy, Ricky Lee Jones wrote it. And you've got to come up... Do you, what, what are the rules to Eurovision? You do have to have your original song, so it has. It can't have been performed in the last like three months or something. Oh God, he's stuffed then, Daryl. <laughs> well, he, has he performed it the last no, three well, months? Daryl, I reckon Daryl's performed it five hundred <laughs> times in the last three months. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't think he can do it. He does open a door for chomping at the bit. <laughs> And that has a sprinkler feel to it, it's not bad. Hey, Darby, how different is your, like, on air, your stage persona to how you are around, around the house? Um, I, I think on stage I try to look, look very, you know, strong and charismatic and, you know, like, I've, I've got it together. But normally I'm, I'm pretty, um, pr really clumsy and, um... <laughs> Yeah, always just have something like missing, like losing stuff everywhere. Um, yeah, but you don't want to be doing that on stage. You've got to be doing a bit of this in the kitchen when you're like, you know, do your move and bring yourself back to, you yeah. know, when you're at home. If I did that, my husband would leave me. Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't, yeah, no, I'm not, not, don't want to go crazy yet. So. Hey, congratulations. It was announced today that you are Cosmopolitan's uh, uh, Artist of the Year. Woo! That is and also, we have two winners, because Carrie, you won Presenter of the Year. <laughs> Which, i got to say, I lost a lot of money because I had Bono winning all of it, to be honest. Uh, that, must, that must be a thrill. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really cool. Um, I, I, I actually, I got nominated two years ago and I won the, um, 
the what is it fearless female thing. So um, yeah, it's it's really cool that they still remember me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dummy's new single "Fighting for Love" is out everywhere right now. Head to the links on our website for more details. Would you please thank Dummy M? <laughs> Coming up next here on 10 is David Attenborough's Natural Curiosities. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night.